hi, my name is Anna and today I'm going to be uh, showing you some assistive technology and some devices that you can use with uh, blind or visually impaired older adults. This technology can be used with, uh, well, it's used by um, blind, blind individuals in general, uh, but I want to focus on how this technology can help um, or assist um, blind older um, adults. Okay, uh, the first thing that I want to show is um, a computer with uh, the uh, a screen reader. Uh, the screen reader is called the Just program, and it um, just talks. And anything we type on 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 the computer, it'll be um, speaking. Okay. Uh, well, with the blind or um, we don't use the monitor, so I usually keep my monitor off. But I'm gonna turn it on uh, just for you. Maybe you're able to see what I'm doing. Um, on the computer. Um, also, we the blind we do not use the mouse since we're not able to click on you know whatever we do on the computer. But we use a combination of hotkeys using the keyboard. Uh, for example, we use Alt Control E for email, and that'll um, will open up my um, Outlook Express or my inbox. Uh, we most of the blind uh, we use Outlook Express to um, read our email, and because that it. It's very easy to access. Uh, for example, um, I'm going to do insert T and it'll tell me what's on my screen. It sounds a little uh, weird, but uh, we get used to it. And uh, it's, the speed is very, it's fast because I have it 100%, you know, 100 percent um, uh, speed rate, but we can slow it down. Uh, right here I have my... Um, Inbox, and uh, I have read um, email, so I'm gonna arrow up and down. I hit an email uh, sent by my professor, Dr. Settle Watson. I'll press enter, and that is how I read my email. Um, so this would be um, something that it would be very easy for um, older adults, or blind or visually impaired adults. Um, to access. To to okay, I'm going to escape to close this. Okay. Now, if I want to send an email, I'll do control N. And if I want to send an email to, say, one of my professors, okay, Dr. Weber, I'll hear J. Weber. I tap, I hear subject, I'll, I can type hello. And then it'll take me where I can uh, just type my email, but I'm gonna escape. It asks me if I wanna save changes, I arrow down and say no. Okay, uh, so if I wanna go to the internet, which is very helpful for um, blind indiv individuals, I click I on uh, what it says Internet Explorer. And then I hear Google because I have it as my main page. I do insert T. And I hear um, Google. And then I can just go ahead and type whatever I want to type and, and uh, go ahead and search it. Now, if I want to open up a, a page, I do Control O. I type in Fullerton.edu. Press enter. And I hear California State University, Fullerton visited Level 1 California State University. California State University, University of Fullerton. And then I can just go ahead and do whatever I want to do. Now, to toggle in between uh, whatever programs I have open, I do Alt Tab. And right here I have open um, uh, one of, uh, a chapter for one of my books, um, Ethics and Issues. Um, it's for one of my classes. Page 43. And the way I read my chapters, I do insert two. Page 43, section two, ethics and context. Page 44, it's very fast, three, but I can slow it down. So that's how it'll um, read and sounds a little weird, but we're used to it. Now, if I want to open a new document, I'll do I'll control. W for word. And I'll, I can just start typing whatever I want to type. I type in my name and I can read it. Okay, so that is um, how we use uh, the computer, and that makes it makes us um, you know makes it easier for us.
and uh, this is also my laptop I also have a laptop it has the jazz program also and this is very easy for me to just to take it anywhere and access information that I want to do you know reading or internet when I'm not at home uh, I also have a braille embosser which is um, I can just print on using my regular printer but if I want my document on braille uh, I can use this and I also have a, a scanner which is very very um, um, a lot of blind people use this it's a scanner that is hooked up to the computer and what it does if you have a newspaper magazine or whatever you want to read you just put it in there and then you scan and it'll go on the computer and you can as well use um, read those documents this has a different software a speech program that is called uh, Kurzweil so it, it's very easy to, to use I also have that I recently got is this um, it's a scanner too but it's very practical because you can just fold it and take it with you as you can see this is the lens and the same you just hook it, hook it up to the computer and what you can do is you just do the handout magazine or whatever you want to scan and then you just scan it and uh, the lens will you know capture the image and then it'll just read whatever whatever you want to read which is, is very very nice um, another device that I use a lot and um, it would be very helpful for uh, adults who have low vision uh, is the talking watches yeah, this is very helpful it can tell you the hour every you can set it up to give the hour every time every hour <laughs> this is also a talking clock that I carry with me all the time okay another thing is uh, the Victor stream reader I know that one of the difficulties for um, low vision um, adults is not being able to read and access just reading uh, but what we can do with the stream Victor reader is download books and okay this is um, recorded by human voice so it doesn't sound as weird as the jazz program so it's very easy to carry very practical and over here I have one of my counseling books so I can just listen to it you know with headphones if I want to very very um, easy to use uh, another thing that is very very um, good um, for blind individuals is the uh, color identifier uh, which is you know we don't want to go out looking like clowns so this is very practical so you just aim it to whatever uh, clothes you want to check and okay it's very sensitive to light so you want to make sure that that you know light goes in it it'll misread whatever they call so hopefully you were able to hear it said red so it's it's accurate uh, this is also a talking um, watch I don't really like to wear this but it'll it gives you the time and then if you press it twice it'll give you the date okay uh, another thing that I um, use all the time and this is very helpful for um, low vision people is, is uh, the pen frame which comes with stickers and then you can just um, stick the sticker on whatever you want to label and you just pass the, pass the, pass the, the pen frame and it'll read um, and this is just some of the technology that one of the few technologies that can be used but I'll share with you more in my next YouTube video